This is Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago on CTV and Talk City 91.1 FM. We want to talk now a little bit about the Living Environmental Arts Festival Eco Fashion Show, an initiative or an innovative platform to highlight eco friendly practices in different creative and yet engaging approach. Yes. I have with me uh, Miss Anne Marie Briggs, who is a designer. She is yes. also, and she's no stranger to us here because <laughs> I know she, she did come on. Uh, she is Miss Caribbean Commonwealth and Miss Face of the World International. Yes, I am. And she is doing a lot of things for, yes, for us in Trinidad like, and Tobago. I like doing different things. Um, this show that we're having on Sunday, I appreciate the gesture that the organizers, you know, we are using only eco-friendly sustainable materials to do all the designs. So stuff like bamboo, wool, you know, unconventional materials, we find a way to make it work and we turn it into some type of fashion that you're going to see on Sunday. I mean, and, and that is important. Yes, yes, yes. We're also going to have a market that is going to open at 11 a.m. Now, the event itself is going to be held at Sally Bay Beach. That's in Toko. It's going to start from 11 a.m. It's going to have a market where you could purchase craft items, food, fashion. Everything is going to be eco-friendly, of course. And we'll be having a um, fashion show, resort wear, swimwear, which is going to start at 4 p.m. It's free admission to the public, so we invite everyone to attend and, you know, come out and show some support. And you are one of the designers. I am. Tell me about some of your work now. Well, actually, I recently started. I do like crochet, crochet swimwear, resort wear. And I try to use unconventional materials to actually make the swimsuits. Like what? So the last time I made a swimsuit out of bamboo. So the bra, yes, the bra was a bamboo bra with the crochet. So I kept the entire design, no outside interference, no sewing machines, anything. Everything is hand, 100% handmade. Even my little outfit today is, is also by me. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, designer, uh, pageant winner. Model, mom. Model, mom. Yes. What, what, what <laughs> don't you do? I know. That is a shorter <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, it is at uh, Sally Bay, you said? Yes, yeah, Sally Bay Beach is going to start at 11 in the morning. You can come out. You see the, the crafts, you see the different stuff that we're going to have. You'll also be able to laze with the designers. You'll be able to laze with models. So come out, photographers, videographers, we're inviting members of the public, we're inviting the media. Come out and show support, support our local designers and our natural Trinidad and Tobago born talent. Mm. It sounds exciting. I, I probably am interested to see what, what these outfits look like. Because how, yes. how do you take bamboo? And make ah, it into a... Wouldn't you like to know? A, a swimwear. <laughs> Actually, I took the bamboo. I did it in a way that it would support the, you know, the chest. And I found a way to make it work. It worked. Really? <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> and it's something that we can look forward to as we, as we go into it deeper. Because I am trying to mix the crochet with stuff like leather, fabric, jeans, materials, even twine. You crochet like swimwear and stuff like that using twine. So I guess you'll have to wait until Sunday to see what, you know, my collection is I mean, going to look like. I, I am sitting here and just picturing it. How, how do you... Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, yes, Trinidad and Tobago, our people are very, very talented, you know. I, and, and that I we can't are, agree with at all. So we take a little and we make something with it. Yeah. So. All right, and, and just tell me some of the work that you are doing other than designing. Now, I know that uh, oh. Miss Face of the World International, Miss Caribbean Commonwealth. Yes, as the reigning Miss Face of the World right now, I'm responsible for running the pageant in Trinidad and Tobago and, you know, sending up a representative this year who is going to be my successor. So I'm hoping that the delegation we send this year, now we are currently looking for adult male and female and the teenagers. The teenage category we're going to do through the schools, through the Briggs National Interschool pageant that we'll be having at the secondary schools. And the adults' applications are still open. Trainings, training is going to start in the first week of October. Mm -hmm. We're going to train you all extensively. So you'll be prepared for the actual event, which is on the 25th of November, where mm -hmm. I'll be crowning my kings and queens who are going to go up and represent us because I think that we have a real fair chance of winning in both categories, both teen and adult as long as we put ourselves forward and apply ourselves. Yeah. So 
It's a, it's a lot of work that yes. you're doing, so yes. good luck with that. Um, I mean, you. congratulations. I, I hope the event on Sunday goes well. Yes. On Sunday at 11 a.m. at Sali Bay, yes, Al Bay in Yes, and the fashion Toko. show at 4 Yep. So there is the market where people can buy yes. stuff at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And from about 4 p.m. the fashion yes, show the starts. Fashion show starts and, and the interesting thing about that fashion show is that the designers are using eco-friendly products like yes. bamboos. 100%. How is that going to work? I, I mean, I'm interested <laughs> to find out. So I, I'm sure many people out there are as well. Uh, Anne-Marie Briggs, thank yes. you very much for coming on and chatting with us. It is an no absolute problem. pleasure. It's always a pleasure. And hopefully, you know, we can catch up soon and yes, see some I'll of be, the other I'll work be back. that you I'll doing. be back. Uh, take I'll care. Uh, this is Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago. We take a break and come back with more.